what's next? Is it time to install the vapor barrier yet? Not yet, Jesse. Soon. First, we need to prep the crawl space. But before we can do that, we need to make sure we can see what we're doing. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be enough light, is it? No. We're going to install this temporary light. It's 250 watts, so it won't get too hot. We can wire for permanent lighting after encapsulation. Cool, it clips right on. Yep. We'll need to remove everything that isn't dirt or attached to the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks pretty cleared out to me, Gary. Now, everything must be removed, though, in order to avoid problems with odor, mold, and punctures. No matter how strong the vapor barrier, Sharp rocks like these can poke a hole in it. Wow, that's a lot of rocks. It is, but no worries. Your investment can still be protected. We'll remove what we can, but anything that can't be removed will be covered using this protective underlayment, Felt 550. And the CrawlspaceRepair.com inspection checklist lists everything I need to measure, so I just fill in the blanks. Now make sure you get an exact measurement of the crawl space, not an estimate. Now you can guess at what you need to save time if you like, but when it comes to money, you should be accurate. 